Hello and welcome back to Fairhead. So, first off, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everybody that watched, liked, commented and subscribed on the first episode. Um, it's been a massive surprise, I'm not used to getting that much in the way of uh, views, comments, subs, the lot. It's uh, absolutely mind-blowing to me. So, the plan for this episode is, this field has actually been planted with grass. Um, but we're actually going to change that. We're going to rent a cedar and we will <coughs> actually plant in wheat or barley so that we can get some straw from this. So, but first off, uh, one of the comments uh, that came in episode one was about buying the outside areas of land. And there is a bit of a glitch. And before I show you this, I want to let you know that I actually found this out by watching somebody else on YouTube which was Elite Gaming so head over there um, he actually shows how to do this he's got quite a lot of uh, information on his channel so uh, I am going to add 300,000 to the bank just because with precision farming the price of land is a lot cheaper um, so this should actually cover it so if we go into the map and we go to buy any piece, of, it works with any piece of land that's on the outside edge or around this as well. So, Elite Gaming showed on Field 34, you hover over the edge. Now, obviously Field 34 at the minute is blue and if we hit buy, that's just going to pay the 171000 for it. But now that's highlighted, just click on the outside of it, the 34 will go uh, white, press to buy and it'll tell you, you don't have enough money to buy this land. So I don't actually know how much it's going to cost, so I'm just going to add a load of money in and make sure that I take it back out later on. So we've added 300,000. Let's add, I don't know, 9,700,000 just to make sure that we can cover it. So back to that. Go into the parcels of land. Uh, I will show you on a different... The one he said was 34, and then space to buy, 7.33 million. So precision farming hasn't changed that price. But I will show you that it works on any piece of land. I've, I've checked it with 37, it works. Let's go for ooh, 64. Just click on the outside so it goes white. Click to buy, and there it is. You can buy the outside, and that's every bit of land on the outside. So, now then, I just thought, can, <laughs> can I actually sell this now? Um, I don't know. Right, so we just won't have, we'll just have to not use it. So I'm going to change the money back now um, to 266,500. It was around that area, a little bit more than five, I think. So, yeah. But that is how to buy the outside portions of land. I don't know if there's a way. You do not have enough money. Right, okay, never mind. But that is how you do it. So, shout out again to Elite Gaming. And hopefully it works on console for you guys as well. It did look like Elite Gaming was using a console, but I'm not too sure. So hopefully that works for you but you do need a lot of money actually no he used to presume um he's a developer so he would have been on pc so we may as well get these gates open because the first job we need to do is after we've opened these gates is go and rent a cedar let's get this gate open as well it's quite narrow this one very narrow so we need a very narrow cedar something that maybe folds up unless there's another way around Let's have a look. Ooh, that might be quite difficult to get into. We'll have to see. Okay, so. We are in September now, so we should be able to plant in. Let's go to the cedars. Uh, where are they? I've lost them. There. That needs 210 horsepower. <laughs> Oh dear. How 
how wide is it? I wonder if I can get that through a gate. That gate's really narrow. Hmm. I think it's going to be trial and error, really. So, we will go for... That'll be too wide. I think, anyway. We'll actually go for the Uni Phoenix 3000. So, we will lease that. And also buy... A bag of seed. That should be more than enough. So, and what we will actually do as well, because why not? And while we can, we'll lease maybe a medium tractor. Mm, we have the Ford, but that can be used uh, for mowing. We can just do a quick seeding with a, a lease tractor, that's not going to take too long. I want to use something that I've not really used before, maybe like this Landini. 143. How much is that to lease? 7,000. Oof. Yeah, let's do it. We're, we're using equipment that we, uh, we haven't used before. So we'll jump up to that. Hopefully I can get this in that field. But what I will do is I will skip to getting over to that area and then you can uh, probably watch me fail miserably. So I will see you over at the field. Okay, so we are coming up to, well we are at our farm. The first thing I want to do before I do go any further is get to our parcel of land and ooh, precision farming I want to buy all of the soil samples 7000 yeah okay that's because we'll actually be able to see when we're planting what or what we're actually uh, how, we're, how it's actually going to be I need to find a place to turn around because I definitely won't get through that gate from this direction. Is that enough space? Yeah. Okay. So let's jump out of cab view. This is wider than I thought it was actually. I'm hoping it can go through the gate, but we'll have to make this turn as wide as physically possible. And if it can't, we might need to find a different way in. No, definitely not. And now we're going to have to Austin Powers it out. <laughs> oh no. about made it so is there another slightly wider gate hmm. no we don't oh gosh so obviously there's a gate over there this gate looks like it might be a bit wider but still the Turning circles not going to make it easy at all to get in there. Right. I will cut to a point where I've actually found a way in. I will see you in a minute. Excellent. So, literally just up the road, off field two, we've found a way in. We should be able to get through the rest of the gates to get into our field there. Have a look. There's 
no reason not to be able to get through this gate. Opens this way, perfect. Yeah, we'd have never got through that um, that narrow gate. Not in a not in a million years. That's a really narrow gate. That is. Might get a, a ride on lawnmower in there, maybe. Right, okay, so I'm not actually going to do all of this because we need to make sure we've got space to put a combine in, um, and we're going to have to use a pretty small combine harvester. To be fair, this is a heavy cedar. But all we're after really is, I mean, the uh, the straw off this. I'm hoping this is a direct drill, I should probably have checked that first. Is it? Yes it is, fantastic. Right, so I will get all of this seeded up in a time lapse and I will come back to you in a couple of moments. Okay, so we're coming to an end of seeding this field and I've just had a bit of a brainwave halfway through. We don't need straw because we don't need TMR because we're using Maze Plus. So really I should be thinking about getting some canola planted in at some point as well for power feed because cows, if I remember rightly, on Maze Plus they take 
normal grass, silage, um, canola as power food and like potato or something like that, carrots as moisture food. So there is stuff that we will have to buy, certainly, but it's, uh, anyway, this will come in handy anyway. Uh, the wheat can be sold, the straw can be used as bedding. So it's not a, a wasted effort. It's just probably a bit of wasted money really because I can't plant canola until spring, I think. I would have to check that, which I will do as soon as we're finished here. So we've got this pass and then maybe one more pass over this little bit on the uh, behind us. <clears throat> and I might just do them edges as well just to straighten straighten the uh, field off a bit. If I can get in there. That's where I show off my terrible reversing skills, reverse into the corner. Then again, that's got nearly all of it, I'm happy with that one. Now let's get this last corner. A bit down about there. Hopefully the swing's not too bad and won't catch the fence. Nope, good. Excellent. It's just this one last patch. There we go. Right, so we have a wheat field planted in. We need to make sure we get that limed, uh, fertilized, all ready. But before we do anything else, let's check the calendar. Uh, canola, oh, it is planting season now. Ooh, that changes things. So I need to find somewhere to put some canola seed. Um, oh dear. Where do I put it? Is that an opening in the fence there? Yes it is. And maybe I could have gone this way. Rather than driving through somebody else's field. The only problem is, because these are so hilly, we're actually struggling to uh, plant anything in. And I wouldn't want to plant over uh, this grass field, because it's ready to cut. There's gates at the top. Hmm. But we're definitely not going to get this down that pathway. I mean, we can try and have a bit of a laugh at my expense. No, no chance. It's not going to happen. We'll just go out the way we came in. Right, so what I'll do is I will take this cedar back round to the farm and the landini. Uh, we'll keep hold of them for the rest of today, since we've paid for the day. And hopefully we can uh, get some canola planted in as well. So, definitely not going to get out of that gate. Going to have to go through field two. Ooh, and I will grab the mower and we'll get on with mowing the larger of the grass fields and we'll also check how our silage bales are doing I will see you in just a second so 36% fermented, that's not going to be fermented until October maybe end of September but I don't think we'll get there in this episode so we're going to go and pick up the mower and we shall get some mowing done we do have plenty of fields that we can mow is there. Hey. Tractor to doing a bit of a jig there. This mower is too big for this tractor. I should really look at getting a smaller one. I'll look at some mods. Um, fairly soon and we'll, we'll uh, do something about that. 
So we should be able to get through this gate with this. He says. Yeah. So this little patch is mowable. We'll probably do that later. But for now, I think we should really do this one. So we shall unfold that. It's quite a large area to mow. So I'll get some of it done and I will come back to you. Right, we're coming pretty close to an end of mowing this grass field. It's been quite tricky actually because this is really, really, really steep and uh, the tractor just sort of runs away if you're not careful. <laughs> Especially at this bit. The rest of the field was okay but this edge, ridiculous, really hard work. So what I want to do is I want to see how course play will do on this field rowing it up. So once we've finished mowing this, I'll go and attach the row to the back of the Ford and we'll set course play off and see how it does. And while it does that, we actually need to buy a, a sprayer because we will have weeds in the canola and everything will need fertilising. So we definitely need to do that. And while we've got the Landini leased, we may as well take advantage of the fact that we've got two tractors available to us and see if we can't uh, get two jobs on the go at once. Hopefully Corseplay will do a decent job of uh, this field. It does look a little bit tricky, but with the, the row doesn't take too much power, so hopefully it shouldn't really struggle too much with it. But we shall see. I would probably bail all this up as just grass. I might not wrap this field. Um, then we can at least start getting food stocked ready. And because this will be pretty moist grass, it would actually count as some moisture food as well as base food for cows. And really, young cows we don't really need to give silage to. Not yet, but we will anyway. <clears throat> God, it's hard work turning this round in here. We... Nearly. 
really the last little patch and then we'll see how course play works for, the, for us I think it should be okay it's a pretty intelligent um, mod much better than the actual base game workers that's for sure bit as well. May as well grab this tiny bit and then we can fold up and we can go and pick up the windrow. I'm going to find a better place to put this uh, mower as well because where we put it last time it's a little bit tight getting in there so it might end up with uh, up at the top where I put the equipment originally when we first set up. No problem. So at the top here. Whoops. The row is in there. The bale is in there. Might have to do a bit of a turn around jobby. You know, destroy all of our equipment while I'm at it. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Get out the way, Merlot. There we go, we got there in the end. So we'll pick up the row and see how course play gets on. I'm hoping it'll be okay. There's a lot of hoping going involved. Right, let's get back round there. very bumpy map this. I do like it, it's quite challenging actually. Can we get, yeah we'll get this through here no problem. So that's unfolding. Hopefully there's no issues with course play. So let's see how we get on. Uh, that one. <laughs> Create a job. Field work. I'll tell you what, let's make sure it's, it knows we're in the field. Create a job. Cosplay field work, excellent. Field 47. Target position. That way. That way. Start at first waypoint. Open course generator, 3.8 meters. Uh, number of headlands, three. One tool. And I'm gonna start work on center. Corners smooth, overlap 10%. Okay, generate that and start job. Right, so let's see how this gets on. And while this does that, I will be back in just a second. Hmm, so it turns out it doesn't want to do it. So, uh, No, stop. Pain in the backside. Right. Cosplay. Great job. V 
field work, cosplay field work. Let's change it a bit then. Hmm. Headland. Up, down. Let's see if that does it. Now it's saying it's doing it. But will it actually work? He nearly lost it. Okay, so it's... It looks like it's doing it. Obviously it's going to get edges there that uh, I haven't caught. It's going to get right to the edge. Hopefully that fence isn't too close, which doesn't look like it is. Excellent. So what we will do is while that is working away, I'm going to look for a self-propelled sprayer because I know I've got some mods like this one. It's nice and narrow. It's articulated so it should be really good for this map. So I'm actually going to buy that. Doesn't need GPS. The only problem is we can't do sea and spray with it. But that's fine. We'll do, what's that, 2,000 litres? We'll buy a second one, because the sprayer holds 4,000 litres. So we've got this massive Ferguson sprayer. As you can see, it's articulated, so it should make for quite easy work driving around this nice tight map. Again, that didn't look like a very tight turning circle to me. Hmm. Right, I will see you when we're back at the farm. Okay, so we're going to drive in here again, only because that's just dead easy with this. Um, I should really have tested it with that small gate, put it in sort of like a moment of truth time, but that's okay. As you can see, the um, course play is doing a fantastic job up there. It's getting around that field rather quickly. So what we're going to do is fertilise the wheat field we just planted. And hopefully, that will be all rowed up, ready for next time. Oh, it's working really well, that. I like it. So everything needs fertilizer. So it was a good job we bought this actually, because this is actually a large sprayer. For the size of the fields we've got, it's just it struggles going uphill. <laughs> oh no. God, it is large. I've always wanted to use this mod since I uh, downloaded it. May as well do the grass a bit as well. Let's get it turned on. Hopefully it won't use too much. As you can see, it is putting it down for us. Fantastic. Now we're moving. And it should literally take three passes. So I will quickly time lapse fertilizing this field and I'll be back with you.
Okay, so that is the wheat field fertilised. Hopefully that will give us a pretty decent yield. So we'll fold this up. And we'll find a nice place to put it for now. But it will definitely be coming back out once we've cleared the bales off the top there, if we can get it up there. Once we've got all this grass cleared out of here, <coughs> everything's going to get a good coating and a good spraying. Well, that'd have gone in there easy. Right, so let's find where we're parking this. I put the Landini in that shed. I guess we could actually throw this in there as well. It does struggle going uphill this thing. Then again, it doesn't have much horsepower. We'll put this in the workshop. It's an old piece of kit, I'm sure it'll need plenty of work in the future. But more importantly, it's out of the way for now. How's this doing? This will be done soon. Fantastic. Okay, so that's all I've got time for. Uh, Merry Christmas to every single one of you. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you after Christmas with another episode on Fairhead. Goodbye.